What's good, man? My name's Sean Brown, East Atlanta artist. You know what I mean? Artist, entrepreneur, all that. Tap in. Follow him at S.H.O.N. Brown. Shout out to Brown Music on YouTube. Kelly so blessed, pick us XO. Kelly ain't, Kelly ain't got no chill. Kelly don't really give a fuck how you feel. Kelly ain't humble no more, nigga. Kelly got a foot on your throat, nigga. Kelly ain't humble no more, nigga. Kelly got a foot on your throat, nigga. Go, Kelly, go. Go, go, Kelly, go. Go, Kelly, go. Go, go, Kelly. Hi guys, welcome back to the One Stop Shop. I am she, she is me, it is everything, period. Gang, and gang, today, gang, gang, gang. I'll be interviewing the Sean Brown. New music is out right now. Go get that. Street motivation. motivation. Tap in. Yep. It's How long have you been doing music? The people want to know. That's crazy. Me and Lots was just talking about this, um... We were talking about this like yesterday, two days ago. I've been doing music for seven years. This is my seventh year Sheesh. doing music. Um, when I first started, I was kind of like a baby trying to learn how to walk. Trash. And I feel like now nah, I done mastered it. So seven years, man. It's my seventh year. I'm celebrating my seventh year doing music. They say seven years of doing something. Looks like your lucky years, number. You know what I mean? But at seventh year, you're going to be where you need to be. Seven years doing music. Did you always want to be an artist? Was that always the plan? Or was that always the vision? Always. Like I didn't know that. Always. What did I was doing music seven years? No, like that. That was always the plan. Like. Oh yeah. I mean, it takes confidence. Like it's something that really takes a a confidence level that's higher than average. I say because to actually get over the laughs and the, you know what I'm saying the initial jokes and. People like, man, you ain't no rapper for real. Like, it, it just take a big jump. So to go from, especially when you're not just, I say, naturally talented or just naturally have it. Like I had to teach myself a lot of, you know, flows and rhythm and just a lot of stuff that just wasn't in me at first. So yeah, it took it took confidence for me. But yeah, I always wanted to do it. In 2013, I finally got the confidence to say. Fuck it, I want to do it. That's so funny because, I mean, I definitely understand what you're saying, but I just never would have expected you to say that, I guess. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we went to high school together. You seem to be very confident. And you was always about your money, always about your business. So that's not something that I like would expect for you to have to overcome. But that's, that's, that's what's up. Mm -hmm. Progress. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we first had street privilege. If you have not already, go get that too. It's still on all platforms. You can still get it. And now we got street motivation. Mm -hmm. What is the motivation behind this project or the inspiration, motivation? Give us a little uplift. Give us a little. Um, it's no secret. I mean, it's in the title. I want to motivate the streets. I want to motivate other artists. I want to motivate um, younger generation behind me of entrepreneurs to live out their dreams and not be afraid of, you know, the challenges that the world just naturally throw at you um, in terms of schooling and sports and whatever it is that you want to do. I just want to motivate folks to be able to understand that they can do it and that it's not easy and you're going to take a lot of L's. A lot of people believe that L's are a sign of, I should try something else. I believe that L's are a sign that you learn it. You know what I'm saying? And you can move so. forward. So. My motivation, the streets is just showing them that through all the L's I done took, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And keep going. And we lit. What do you think is different about your brand as a as an artist or a rapper that like makes you different from everybody else? Or makes you stand out or makes no shit about how it pop? Um well, I got a two-part answer. Uh, in terms of my brand, I'm independent. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I've accomplished a lot doing this by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, not to knock anybody, but it, it takes a team of investors, a team of a push to get a lot of other artists to the point that I feel like I've gotten myself to. And um, 
I be a fool to not celebrate that. Like, I feel like that's my biggest accomplishment is being able to say, I've gotten to this point by myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I had help of my team and people that have, that have been, that I've been blessed to have a part of my, um, you know, success. But In your circle. For the most part, you know, I, I put my I put my foot down and I don't take no for an answer. So I always find a way to make it happen. In terms of my artistry, I feel like my sound is unmatched. I don't, I don't feel like nobody sound like me or I don't sound like anybody. And I love that. Like, I, I never wanted to be an artist that's just like, oh, he sound like one of them Atlanta niggas or he yeah. sound like one of them He's other, like you know what I'm saying? Too. None of that. I'm, I'm me. You know what I mean? My voice is my voice. I feel like I'm very, um, you know, flexible with the kind of music I can make. And I'm open to working with just about anybody. I love all types of music. So If you had to pick one artist to work with. That's the hardest question to answer in every interview. One. <laughs> just one. If I had to pick one artist to work with, what do you mean? Like, this the last artist I can work with? Or this the very next artist I can work with? Um, The very last artist. Hmm. The last artist you could ever work with. Who would he be? And why? It had to be Wayne. If it was the last artist I could work with, I'm like, with Wayne. That was my dog. I've been listening to Lil Wayne since I was listening to music. So it's only right. That's my I favorite. Like, I, I love Wayne and I, I definitely could see why you would say that. Like Yeah. Just the overall, but him and the whole Trump supporting thing is just Making my neck twitch a little bit, but we're not just the music, just the music, just the music. Okay. <laughs> Who would be the next artist you work with? Follow up question. Uh, Who's next? See, that's hard. I, I got a list of. I just name one out of the list of artists that I plan on working with. I say Dirt. You know, so I know he got a lot going on right now. That's praying that's for that crazy. situation. But um, Dirt is somebody that's been on my radar pretty much. For the past two years, so definitely dirt. Since we talking about dirt, what are your sentiments about the whole, you know, well, King Von's passing? I just feel like it's time for us to get some money, man. Focus on, you know, focus on family, friends, love, less hate. Like it's always gonna be, you know, issues amongst individuals in any industry. But I just feel like the killing is unnecessary at this point. Like we're losing too many artists back to back. Not even just artists, human beings back to back um, over nonsense. Like others, you know, I never, I never be the one to not condone a solid fist fight. Like if you want to fight, fight. But nowadays it ain't, it ain't just that. So now I'm just avoiding all conflict. Period. I feel like the conflict is unnecessary. And you talking about somebody who just lost their life and got three kids, three young kids. Like I don't feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's really lame. It wasn't worth that. Yeah, all it's that. really lame. Like that's what I. That's where my sentiments go. At the end of the day, it's to the family members and to um, you know the friends that's that's being put in an unexpected situation. Nobody expected to get that call. Right. And I just feel like, you know, we as artists and we as people. And as black men, we should think about that more. Like, celebrate the fact that, you know what I'm saying, we still alive and still able to make stuff happen. What's your favorite song on the project? My favorite song on the project? Is probably oh a song called Lost. It's the third song on there. It's just a vibe. Like, it ain't the lyrics, it ain't anything. I was gonna say, what is it about? It's just a vibe. Like, there's a song I ride to every night on the way home. I listen to my music, you know what I'm saying? But that song, I'm you not... You have on repeat? Yeah. Like, I'm not biased with my music, so I, I pretty much... I only pick songs on the project that I like. I got a lot of songs, so I, I actually pick songs that I felt like were good and fit the project. But that song just stuck with me since I recorded it. It was just a vibe. I think everybody gonna like independent it. Independent artists also attached to an independent label mm -hmm. called... Millions and billions. Millions and billions. Give us the rap and the rundown on that. Same How's thing. that doing? It's doing Where's well. that going? Doing amazing. I feel like I'm able to show what I can do with my label by showing what I can do with myself. So, 
get myself to another level is just self-explanatory. I can I can definitely help other artists and other creatives get to their next level in their careers. And that's my goal, just put people on a platform where they are able to step up their game and go to the next level. That's if you it. could sign an artist today, outside of her lawn, who would you sign? Um, do you listen to like in, like you know underground rappers? Like indie artists, yeah, I do. I support a lot of indie artists. Um, who? That's a tough question. I know a lot of dope, talented individuals. Um, sheesh. Somebody that's already signed, or somebody that's unsigned. Somebody that's unsigned. Somebody that's that needs you. Um, that could benefit from your services. Um, who? I don't say. I mean, I wouldn't say needs me but you know my boy the motor man will i feel like Will Period. is a dope individual i used to yes. listen to his projects when he first dropped on soundcloud he was dropping projects on soundcloud and i, I just remember listening to it like it do dope <laughs> like wordplay different and yeah, he, different he got a different vibe. like when i knew like i met bro in high school he seen nothing like his music, like, his music was way past where I thought it would be when I gave it an ear. I give everybody an ear, though. Like, I'm, I'm never going to be too good to listen to another artist. Um, and it helps, I feel like, when you listen to other artists, it helps you in your creative process. But, uh, yeah, that's somebody that I definitely not only want to work with, but if he wanted to be gang almost immediately. Her. Um, we're just telling us about how you know you turn all your L's into learning and lessons, mm -hmm. and um, how you just have a different vibe as far as being independent. What would be like three gems you would want to give, like up and coming artists, somebody that's just starting, somebody that needs advice, and um, like maneuvering through the industry and all of that? Um one don't give your money to everybody you know what i'm saying i'm not saying don't give your money to anybody but don't give your money to everybody because everybody does not have your best interest at heart some people look at you as a check unfortunately that's just what it is um in the same sense be great at networking never feel like you're too good to network um i learned that the industry it's, it's people in this industry that appreciate you know humbleness still and the ability to carry on a conversation without seeming you know like an opportunist and just you know just taking what you can taking what you can get from the individual and you know bring it to the table what you can bring to it and um three would be show support you know show support to others as you would want them to show support to you um listen don't just talk you know what i'm saying but just show support like i love to go to other people's events, other people's shows, um, post other people. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm never gonna be too good to support other people. And I feel like me showing that support and not necessarily ever looking for anything in return has gotten me a lot of support in return, whether it come from that person or somebody around that person. Um, support goes a long way, so yeah. Show support, network. And don't give money to everybody. Don't give your money to everybody. Heard. We talked about um, male artists, but we didn't really talk about female artists. Mm -hmm. Who would you work with right now in terms of female artists? Female artists? Yeah. Um, a lot of definitely on my radar. Period. I like, I like Lotto, Lotto. Big Lotto. I like a lot of. Um, yeah, same. Keisha is like sis, so I'm definitely looking at working with Keisha. Um, a lot of will probably be the, the first female artist I step out there and work with. I, I got a chance to meet Ruby Rose last year. She's dope. And I've watched her climb a lot this year. Yeah, yeah probably Ruby Rose. Um, she got a she got a real unique sound. I love her voice. Mm -hmm. It ain't easy to leave me, believe me. That confidence. I'm a hood bitch motivation just we like Jesus said. Oh, yeah. um... This gonna be a little late for the video, but versus who you got, 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 and please do not disappoint me. Who you got for versus? Jeezy, the snowman, or the trap god? Ten seventeen, East Atlanta, stand up. 
You about to disappoint me out the building. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say, man. I, I can, know I can tell who you pick, but you know what I'm gonna say. I don't I'm know from East Atlanta, you know I'm gonna pick Gucci. I'm okay, gonna pick period. Gucci. I'm glad that you're on the same But I'm a big fan. Place. I'm a huge fan of Jeezy. I'm a huge so fan of Jeezy too. Gonna, I fuck with Jeezy. I'm not gonna. Um, I just think that engaging the jokes. The jokes are hilarious. In terms of like the verses, you can play songs that you produce. He produced a bunch of thugs. Like he just like I don't. If you're not a real Gucci fan, you don't really know what he's done. You mm. know what I'm saying? So I just feel like people lowballing him because they know more of Jeezy's hit, like radio hits mm. but Gucci got classics like I don't I don't know just I, the, the bro Sounders day I'm a dog like I didn't even really realize like that's Gucci like mm. oh, listen man. Gucci Gucci essential trap artists two essential trap artists I feel like two Atlanta legends that's outside of what you know went on in a personal situation it's, it's probably gonna be the dopest Versus for sure. Right. Gucci for the verses. I'm glad because. Big up, big up. What's next for you after you drop the project? Are we gonna go on tour? Are we doing concerts? Um, I mean that's just, just a part of the do? game. I'm, I'm gonna, you know. What do the fans have to look forward to? I plan on stepping up my shows, um, putting together some concerts going into the fall. Um, well, going into the winter, and eventually the spring. Um, we got to do another fashion show. We have um, a lot of tour dates lined up. I guess we just gotta see how the pandemic hits. Cause I got a lot of artists I plan on actually touring with. Um, it's gonna be dope. And I'm gonna drop project after project. Like this ain't, this ain't, this is just the beginning. It's gonna be a long 2021. Street privilege, street motivation, street that, that, that. Wait for it. It's on the way. Fill in the blank. But I'm definitely going to drop a deluxe version to this project, though, so look for that. Um, between 30 to 60 days, we'll drop a deluxe. With some, with some songs that y'all wish would have been on, you know what I'm saying, the original version. I got some more surprises for the world. So. And that's just on period. He also has... Merch on the way. The merch... Is on the way. I'm trying to be the best merch dropping artist in the world. The merch always goes crazy. I can attest to that. I'm trying to be the best, best quality. You know what I'm saying? I, I get real designers involved. I do not just put my name on a t shirt. These are giveaways. You know what I'm saying? I give away shirts with my name and logos on them. But when it comes to the merch, we get the best behind. quality product that we can get, that we can provide. I want people to like the merch that don't even like me. You ain't got to listen to it. You don't like the merch. So that's the goal. That's what's up. That's life. What's good, man? It's Sean Brown. I just wrapped up a very dope vlog with D. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Um, go get Street Motivation right now. Follow me on Instagram at S-H-O-N Brown. Follow me on YouTube. Subscribe, like, comment on everything. Sean Brown Music. Tap in.